welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's Castle. For today's video, we're doing the July purchase or pass video. I'm really excited to go through everything. There's honestly so much merch to go through this month. I feel like this video is going to be really, really long. I also feel like my outfit is giving like holiday vibes right now. Like, I'm ready for Christmas. Um, let me know if you are too. <laughs> if you guys are interested, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe, and let's get started. Before we get started, these are just my opinions. If you like something that I don't like, that doesn't mean that you have, like, bad taste or anything. I'm just showing you what I am choosing to spend my money on. I feel like I want to start with ears, as we usually do. And let me tell you, there are lots of ears to go through first pair of ears that we have they're called the port orleans riverside lounge fly ears so these are lounge fly exclusive or i guess like lounge fly brand ears that they're selling at the parks i believe you can only get these in disney world these just like aren't my favorite i don't know i don't think i like all of these like flowers kind of popping out they remind me of like the coach ears but just like not as cute as the coach ears so like why do they do this i don't know do you like that the flowers have like little gold hidden mickeys i think it's like a really cute detail they have like a little like burlap material kind of bow and side of the headband and then we have Minnie mouse in the middle i'm just gonna pass on these not very my style it looks like something that's gonna be a little bit more difficult to style. I'm also not a huge fan of lounge fly ears. I definitely prefer the regular Disney park ears over the lounge fly ears. So I just feel like I wouldn't like these. So these released on Shop Disney kind of a while ago at this point. I believe it was July 18th, probably like last week or so. A lot of these are already sold out, unfortunately, but I did want to tell you my thoughts on them. I'm pretty sure all of these are lounge fly ears. So the first pair, they're like a sparkly purple with a blue bow with a tassel in the middle. Tassel has like glitter on it. Honestly, these colors just aren't my favorite and I know I would never use them. However, I do think these ears would look cuter if there was no bow attached. And if you're into like this purple color, then I would say remove the bow because I feel like the bow just like ruins the ears for me. I didn't like these at all. So we're gonna pass over these. The next pair of ears I actually really like. The day that these dropped, you guys know I'm like always on it when it comes to like Disney launches and stuff. I think I had just gotten back from my Disney trip when this released and I was just out. Like I went to sleep, didn't even check the website, but I do regret missing out on these because these are really, really cute. They almost look like they're denim, but they're not. They're like a leather, really shiny kind of blue. These are just beautiful the bow is like a navy color i love that it has like little rhinestones everywhere these are lounge fly ears but i think i would make an exception for this specific style of ears i'm so sad let me know if you guys were able to get these these are like the disney wish ears we also have these parts of the caribbean ears which are gold and they have like a maroon colored bow it's like velvety and it has like gold lining and we have the pirate symbol in the middle. I think these are really cool. I don't think I would really wear these. So I would pass on these. Honestly, kind of feel like the bow would look better without like that braided detail. Just like a simple red bow, I feel like would pull me in a little bit more i mean i just wouldn't wear these but i do think they're really cool probably one of like the better pairs of ears that we're gonna see today and the last pair that we have is like a headband kind of thing i don't know i honestly thought they only made these kinds of ears for like children or dogs i didn't know they were like an adult style i'm not really sure these are also disney wish ears they look a little bit more comfortable than like a normal pair of ears but yeah, these just like aren't my style. We did have a couple of like Haunted Mansion releases. So the first pair, I actually did see these in the parks when I went on my trip and I don't like these at all. I appreciate that they're different, but like I would never wear these, you know? I feel like my ear preference is just more simple, like really girly. These just aren't doing that. We have lots of stripes going on. I feel like it's this neon green that's like really killing me. Like we're not into this ne neon green and it looks so bright. Then we have the little bow on the side that has like the Haunted Mansion wallpaper and then a little hat. Just like wouldn't wear these at all. Could they look cute without the bow and the hat? possibly i'm just like not over the fact that there's like lime green everywhere yeah next pair of ears i actually like these more than the last pair even though they're kind of 
extra and dramatic i feel like because of the colors i'm more drawn to these than the last pair we have like this copper kind of toned rim around the ears everything is sequined you have the bride the dead bride i don't know is she have, does she have a name is it like connie or is that from zach and cody I don't know. We also have the Headless Husband, which iconic for the ride. Has like a purple kind of like headband. Some like white flowers like replace the bow, you know? We also have the white veil. I mean, honestly, if I, I were to purchase these, I would get rid of the veil. I'm just like not really into ears that have like veils and just like a bunch of things like hanging down. So I feel like it would look better without it. I don't think I would purchase these. I haven't purchased them. They're available on Shop Disney if you want them. Um, but I feel like if you saw them in person, I feel like they may look better, especially if the veil is cut off. I'm like not too mad about these. I'm still not planning on buying them, but they're better than the last Haunted Mansion pair. We also have a headband. Actually, I actually think it's kind of cute. Like, I don't know if I would buy it, but I I do like the idea of it. We have all these fun gems, Madame Leota. I think it's a really cool headband. And honestly, I feel like it'd be a really cute accessory to have during the Halloween season. So I'm not mad about these. I think this headband is actually really cute. We have these kind of look like denim, like a really dark denim pair of ears. It has a red bow with buttons. I saw these in person and I was honestly shocked. Like. Like, what is that? Like, I feel like these aren't terrible, but like the buttons, like I just don't really get it. I'm just confused. Like, it's honestly giving Coraline. I feel like they're not bad, but like they're bad. You know, we have these two pairs of ears, which were released on Shop Disney actually last night. And I bought these so fast because I love a simple colored pair of ears. These copper pair of ears, which I'm not like obsessed with the copper. I'm interested to see what it looks like in person. However, I do like the copper for like the fall season. I also recently just dyed my hair and my friend Sarah told me that these pair of ears would match my new copper hair that I have. It's not full copper. I feel like it's harder to tell with my um, natural curls, but I have copper highlights and I feel like this would actually look really good. So thanks Sarah for having me up. Do they kind of look like basketballs? Possibly, not for everyone. I'm just really excited to see them in person. Is there a chance that I'll hate them? Absolutely, but I just feel like they're solid colored ears that like, you can't really go wrong. The next pair that we have are my absolute favorite. I'm obsessed with these. These are called the Almond Pearl Ears and they are so pretty. We have this really pretty pearl color. These ears are just gonna be perfect all year round, especially in the winter time. Like these are gonna be so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. Like if you're gonna buy anything from this video, I feel like it needs to be these white pearl ears because they're just gonna match with so many outfits. Next pair of ears we're gonna talk about are questionable. These are the uh, jasmine ears and then I didn't realize that they were bobble bar ears until a little after and I was shocked. If you've been watching the purchaser pass videos or like my haul videos, you guys know that I was really hopeful for this princess bobble bar ear series that they were releasing because i'm a huge fan of bubble bar in general and bubble bar ears specifically i love like i just think they're so beautiful they are a little bit more expensive than your regular ears but i just feel like they're always so cute so unique so girly like very my style i was really excited about this whole princess collection so they released tiana which they killed it with the tiana ears ariel was iffy i know people hated the bow the quality wasn't 100 percent but i love mine and with the bow removed i think they're just beautiful the fact that this is supposed to be jasmine i'm shocked what like okay let's like break it down i feel like the ears the pattern on the ears isn't bad like i feel like they could have done something with that i love the idea of like the moons and the stars make it more like i don't know like the night sky like i'm i'm like into that for jasmine it's different from ears that disney has done for jasmine before which were like the blue with the magic carpet like 
we don't need to do that again you know we don't need that same blue like it's fine to do something different so i'm into that it's this bow that i'm just like what is that like that's not even a bow i don't like the material it just looks really cheap and then they also added the headband that jasmine wears and i feel like they could have done something with that headband I don't think the headband goes with the black ears so I feel like it should have been like a one or the other kind of thing I feel like one person worked on this part of the ear another person worked on the bow the other person worked on the headband and they didn't like discuss it like they just were like all right like you guys figure out each section and then they just put it together without even discussing like color schemes or like design like I these are no. I tried thinking, okay, like what if I cut the bow off, which is what I did for the aerial one. I feel like the ears are just like really far apart and it just looks even more weird. I think those are all of the ears that we're gonna go through, but let's talk about lounge flies. The first bag that we have is the Pirates of the Caribbean lounge fly, which I did see in person at the parks and I actually think it's really, really nice. However, I just don't think it's really my style. I also just purchased like a Tinkerbell pirate themed bag and I just didn't feel like I needed another pirates themed bag But I do think it's really cool and I feel like if you would wear colors like this then totally get it I love that most of it's neutral. I love the artwork and I just love the gold hardware I feel like these would be really cute with the new one They're probably made to go together but like lounge fly ears that we just talked about So I feel like it'd be a really cute set especially if you're like a big pirates fan this bag a thousand percent Like I think it's really cute. So we have more lounge flies all of these match the ears that we talked about earlier so we have like that purple lounge fly which i feel like the purple would just look better if it was all purple instead of adding like that pocket with the blue and all the polka dots in the castle like i feel like that pocket just like ruins it for me i would be passing on that i think they're all sold out at this point but yeah that's a pass next we have a disney wish lounge fly this one's actually really cute disney wish is a cruise by the way so that's why this lounge fly has like little boats and wheels and anchors like it's really cute honestly i love the all over print i feel like sometimes with all over print it can be hit or miss sometimes it's like too much for me which is why i don't like all over prints but i feel like everything is really spaced out especially when it comes to the characters that it doesn't feel overwhelming and i really like that about this bag i also love the bow i think the bow is really really nice with like the rope detailing i think that's really really cute i wouldn't buy this unless i was like on the actual cruise i don't like love this bag but i do think it's really nice the one bag that i really wish i would have got if i didn't fall asleep is the Disney Wish Lounge Fly. This bag is so beautiful. It obviously matches the ears that we discussed earlier. This bag is everything. It is so pretty. I love like the shiny, like the sheen, shiny material. We have this quilted material, which I'm so into like a quilted moment. I love the bow. I really love everything about this bag. This bag would be so cute with the ears. So if you were lucky enough to get both, like I know it sold out so fast. I also fell asleep, so it doesn't even matter. But I know that this set is just amazing. You're able to get this, congratulations, because this is such a great lounge fly and probably one of the nicer lounge flies I've seen Disney release in a long time. There's also a Dooney and Burke bag, which I'm not a Dooney and Burke girly. I don't own any of them, but I do really like this one because it's princesses. Would I buy this? No. One, I think they're really expensive, and then two, it's just not really my style. Like, I, I just would never wear a bag like this, so I would pass on Dooney and Burke's, but I do think this is actually really cute. I love that it has all the princesses on it. It has Mulan, it has Moana, it has Jasmine, Tiana, like iconic that they included all of them like usually they like leave one of them out so i just love that they really put all of them on there it looks like they did leave out snow white though i will not be purchasing anything from that collection getting so sleepy you guys like i think i need like a midday nap i'm so tired let's talk about mickey mouse main attraction i haven't purchased anything from mickey mouse the one thing that i really thought about buying was the Small World Lounge Fly from the Mickey Mouse Main Attraction because it was at Disneyland while I was there. I do think it's a really pretty bag. I just still feel like 
it's just a lot for me and I also have the fanny pack from the Minnie Mouse collection so I just didn't feel like I needed it and I also bought like five other lounge flies within the past month that I did not need that one the Peter Pan Mickey Mouse main attraction and if you've been following me forever you know that the Minnie Mouse main attraction Peter Pan lounge fly is the one lounge fly that I still really 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 want from the Minnie Mouse Pan attraction series there was like three bags total that I really wanted and that Peter Pan one was the only one that I was unable to get I dream about that bag like that is a bag that I would love to buy I will not be spending $600 for it on Mercari but a girl can dream it is so beautiful when they released the Mickey Mouse Man attraction bag I definitely considered buying it just because it is the closest thing I will ever get to the Minnie Mouse however I still pass on it I think what I don't like about this bag is the clouds. I think if they got rid of the clouds and like that whole ombre kind of thing, I think I would have been more into it. But the clouds just really ruined it for me and I just don't think it's worth having, especially since I don't even want it that bad. I just want it because I can't get another one. I can't see past the clouds and so that is why I pass on it. But I definitely considered it the ears absolutely not that hat like uh, it's just not no and then we have a plush a pin and a magic key all three things i would pass on but yeah the one thing i definitely considered was the lounge fly we have the arthur's carousel lounge fly and no i do have the Minnie mouse lounge fly and i have the Minnie mouse ears i love them so much and so thankful that i have both but yeah um like i don't know there's just like too much going on with that mickey mouse backpack i just feel like they just kind of took the carousel horse and just like slapped it all over and called it a called it a arthur's carousel lounge fly it's just like not it the ears i feel like aren't terrible <sighs> those tassels i just would never wear those tassels on my head like that i do like the pink sequin though if they would have done like an all pink sequined ear with like pops of gold or something like i feel like that would have just been so much better than like trying to like add so much like i feel like it's kind of like the jasmine ears where i feel like one person was doing the ears portion one person decided on the crown and they were like all right let's attach an overlay but they didn't really see the picture before releasing it they were just like all right let's just throw all these things together and i just feel like it's too much and it's just not working the pin plush and the key are going to be a pass for me as they usually are let's go through some clothes we have this new main street electrical parade bomber jacket and i'm not a fan of main street electrical parade and i also am not a fan of the collection that they've been releasing lately for like their merch so like it was too colorful and like just too much for me however this bomber isn't bad you guys i actually think this bomber is really cute it does seem like the bomber is really thin I don't know if it's actually gonna keep you warm in the winter time i do really like this design i feel like they did a really good job we have obviously a plain black jacket we have the simple design of just the lights which i feel like most of the merch should have been this way simple black with the uh, like lights but not like rainbow you know just the yellow lights on the front you also have like different characters or different floats from the parade which is really cool but the best part is that this jacket lights up you guys it literally lights up that is absolutely incredible that is so cool i feel like they really nailed it with this design jacket is a hundred dollars so i don't think i'd be spending a hundred dollars on this jacket but i just think i do think it's really really cool and if you're a big main street electrical parade girly this should be the one i Item that you buy from the Disney merch that they've been releasing because this is so good We also have this haunted mansion flannel shirt. This is so ugly. I'm sorry. Just please don't buy this it's again with the lime green I don't know what it is with the lime green. I feel like there's not even lime green on the ride like why? Maybe for like ghosts. I don't know. I don't get why the lime green not into it It also just kind of looks cheaply made. This is $65 you guys I feel like I could get this at Ross for 12 It just doesn't say Haunted Mansion, but I could honestly just paint the big H and the M in the middle. You know, like, it's just not really doing it. I feel like the plaid is just not well done. 
this is just a no for me. We have some more Haunted Mansion merch. We have these sweatpants, which are actually kind of cool. I think if the sweatpants had like a matching sweatshirt or something, I think that would be cuter or just like... I don't know, more tempting to buy. I don't think I'll be buying these though. I, I don't know. I feel like maybe the shade of gray is just not my vibe. I'm more of like a heather gray type of girl. I don't like it to just look solid gray. Like I want it to kind of have like little speckles in it. So that's why I'm not really drawn to the sweatpants. But I do think if you're like into this color, I feel like they're a cute pair. It's something simple. It's not like screaming Disney. It just has the H and the M and... I mean, it could literally stand for H&M and you would never know. We also have this t-shirt. It's a Madame Leota t-shirt. I don't like this at all. It is like a woman's cut t-shirt, which I'm just not a fan of women's cut t-shirts in general. I also just don't really like this blue on it. Just not really my style. So I'm not into the t-shirt. However, the hat, I bought that. I literally bought it last night. I actually had it in my cart for like a week, but I wasn't up to like the free shipping. So I was like waiting for more things to release. So I bought like the ears and the hat to go with it. I love this hat. This hat is so freaking cute. Definitely like my vibe for Halloween time like I just love like a girlier Halloween. I love an edgy Halloween don't get me wrong I definitely wear my blacks, but I just I love a little girliness. I really love this I think it's so cute. I love that it's pink and Nude and then we have all these cute pearls around Madame Leota I feel like Madame Leota doesn't look like terrifying or anything like I think it's a really cute hat and I'm really excited to have this. I would definitely recommend buying the hat out of everything, even though I don't have it yet. I think it's really cute. Next, I feel like Disney has been stepping it up with the clothes. Besides that really ugly flannel thing that we just saw, I feel like their Disney princess line that they're doing is actually really cute for Disney. I'm impressed because I feel like usually they just like really miss the mark besides when it comes to like t-shirts and stuff, but like their actual clothing is actually cute and I cannot believe it. We have this dress, which this dress isn't particularly my style, so that's why I wouldn't buy this, but I do think it's cute and I can see lots of girlies wearing this dress. It doesn't scream Disney, which is what I like most. It is Cinderella themed. It has these really pretty flowers. I love the yellow color. This is really cute and it honestly looks like it'd be really flattering, especially if you're like curvier. I feel like this would be such a flattering dress on my girls with curves. I feel like that's a really cute dress. I feel like they did such a great job with that. The next thing is this skirt, which once again, it's not particularly my style to wear a skirt like this, but I do think it's really cute and I can see lots of girls wearing this. This would be cute with like a little white top, a little white t-shirt, whoever is on their design team for this collection they need a raise because this is really really cute it's actually mulan themed i just love that it's really simple it has these little flowers i just think they did such a good job i think it's really pretty i love the color i do think it's interesting that they would release it for this time of year i do think this skirt could have been more of like a spring kind of piece you know but i mean you could definitely wear this with like some boots for the fall time so not bad i think it's really cute we also have this other dress which this dress is probably like my least favorite out of the kind of clothing they came out with i feel like it's not bad either the dress is supposed to be a jasmine themed dress and i think it's really pretty we have these little flowers and if you look really closely you can see a little lamp and a magic carpet is really cute. I also feel like the cut of this will be really flattering on, especially like the bust area. I feel like it'd be really cute. It does have like a little slit. I feel like it's really cute. The color just isn't my personal favorite, but I feel like they did a good job. Like I'm props to Disney because this is really good. We have this like Toy Story t-shirt. Now this is just not cute. I don't like this. I honestly feel like it would be more for like children. I, I just don't it's a woman's shirt, but I just don't think it's cute for women. It says Toy Story Land t-shirt, so yeah, maybe you can only buy it at Toy Story Land and then on Shop Disney. I'm just like not really into the colors. I feel like there's just too much kind of going on, and I definitely feel like it's more of like a kid's tee. And then we also have these Star Wars joggers. I feel like I can see what they were going for with these joggers, like making it more minimal, which I feel like is the right direction to go in when it comes to Disney merch. I feel like not everything has to have like a bunch of characters faces all over it. I feel like they were kind of doing that with these sweats. However, I just, I don't know. 
either like the font or like I think it's the stripes I don't like the two stripes that are like around the knee and also kind of outdated I feel like the stripes are very like 2012 not really my vibe do you like the Star Wars like that it says Star Wars I don't know I just feel like it's not really like doing anything and just it being plain black and plain white I don't know you could totally find these at Ross for 12 bucks they also released some princess bags we have this backpack which is a Disney princess mini backpack it's not by lounge or anything it's just by Disney I think it's really cute if you look really closely you have like the spindle for I think it's called a spindle like for Aurora, the Cinderella glass slipper, I see Sebastian, Hogsworth, and a Cinderella's carriage. I feel like there's so many really cute hidden princess details, which I feel like is always so fun. I love that the majority of the print doesn't scream Disney, which is my favorite kind of style. It just has like little touches of it. I think it's a really cute bag. Will I be buying it? No, just because these colors just aren't for me. I also am just not like a huge fan of like this shape of bag. I do think it's really cute. Honestly, I feel like this would be a really cute like diaper bag too if you have children. We have this Jasmine bag, which I did see in the parks and I thought it was so cute. The only thing I didn't like about this bag was the shape. I felt like it was kind of like a bowling ball bag style and it's just not something that I would personally wear. I think if it was like a little bit shorter, I'd be a little bit more into it. I do like that it's clear and it has like the flowers which would match like that dress and the shiny blue is really pretty and then of course Jasmine's lamp. I felt like it was just too triangle-y last kind of accessory thing that they have is this little wallet this wallet's actually really cute as well once again it matches that dress that i showed earlier i think this is a really cute wallet it has these really pretty flowers which if you look closely we have like the clock and the carriage in that print and then we also have the carriage in gold on the bottom and i love the color choices like the pastel orange and the green very very pretty i'm not buying this just because i don't need this wallet but I do think it's really pretty in general I feel like they did a really good job with this like princess collection and I really hope that, that means they have like a new designer or something because this is a good direction to kind of go in we also have some new Starbucks tumblers which were on shop Disney so we have a Disneyland and a Disney World version Disneyland version has Minnie Mouse and the Disney World version has Mickey on it just like the clear tumblers I feel like they kind of come out with these like once a year or like once every two years They're just clear and they have like these really cute designs I think the Disneyland one is way cuter just because I'm team Minnie Mouse I'm team Disneyland and I'm team anything that has pink on it I don't don't need any more cups I have way too many so this one I would just pass on and the last thing that I want to talk about is this new Jasmine kind of collection I feel like this Jasmine collection goes with that bubble bar pair of ears kind of like the night sky kind of vibe I honestly feel like it makes me like the ears less because I just see how well done the rest of this Jasmine collection was done I think this collection is really cute. I love the notebook. I think it's adorable. We have Raja right in the center. I love that it's mainly black with like pops of gold. I think it's so pretty. We have Jasmine flying on the carpet and on the moon. Like this is really, really cute notebook. We also have some like artwork. We have a mug. We have a tumbler. I think they're all very, very pretty. And I feel like the artwork was really well done. Like the design is really pretty. Will I be buying this? Probably not just because I don't really need any of this stuff. But I do think it's really cute. And if you're a big Jasmine fan, I feel like this collection is actually really really cool i really love like that one in the middle where it's like like a nude mug um instead of like a black mug i think that's really pretty and she just looks so beautiful that is it for today's video it is a lot darker now but let me know which item you'll be purchasing if you purchase anything that we talked about today what your thoughts are on everything if there's something that was really ugly to you let me know that's it for today's video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys